Imagine when North America was home to massive creatures that made modern-day elephants look small. Mammoths roamed the plains, saber-toothed cats stalked their prey, and giant ground sloths the size of small buildings lumbered through ancient forests. This was the age of megafauna, an era that feels like a myth but shaped the world as we know it. What happened to these giants, and could they ever return? Long before humans dominated the planet, colossal creatures ruled the Earth. The Ice Age, often called the Megafauna Era, was when towering mammoths, fearsome saber-toothed cats, and bizarre beasts like glyptodonts and giant ground sloths roamed the land. These animals were fascinating, critical to shaping ecosystems, and even influenced early human survival. In this video, we'll explore the world of megafauna, the role they played in prehistoric life, and the mysterious events that led to their extinction. Megafauna refers to animals significantly larger than their modern-day relatives, typically weighing over 100 pounds. During the Ice Age, these giants thrived globally, with some of the most iconic species in North and South America. This era, roughly 2.6 million to 10,000 years ago, was characterized by cold climates, expansive glaciers, and vast open landscapes that provided ideal habitats for these massive creatures. Some of the most recognizable megafauna included mammoths, relatives of modern elephants. They were covered in thick fur to survive the frigid temperatures. Saber-toothed cats, predators with dagger-like teeth that could take down prey much larger than themselves. Giant ground sloths, Herbivores are the size of small buildings and can stand on their hind legs to reach high branches. Glyptodonts, massive armored mammals resembling oversized armadillos. These creatures thrived in ecosystems that supported large herbivores and the predators that hunted them. But the Ice Age wasn't just a time of abundance. It was also a time of dramatic changes that tested the survival of even the most formidable species. The Ice Age presented unique challenges and opportunities for megafauna. Glaciers covered much of North America, Europe, and Asia, pushing animals into regions with more temperate climates. These conditions created a patchwork of habitats, from icy tundras to lush grasslands, where megafauna adapted remarkably. Mammoths and mastodons. With their long tusks and thick fur, mammoths were perfectly adapted to the cold. They used their tusks to dig through snow for grasses and shrubs. Mastodons, their less famous cousins, preferred wooded areas, feeding on leaves and twigs. Saber-toothed cats, like Smilodon, were ambush predators. Their muscular builds and sharp teeth made them deadly hunters, but their short legs meant they relied on stealth and power rather than speed. Giant ground sloths. Despite their size, giant ground sloths were peaceful herbivores. They shaped their environment by consuming massive amounts of vegetation, much like elephants do today. These creatures didn't just survive, they thrived playing critical roles in maintaining their ecosystems. Herbivores like mammoths and ground sloths kept vegetation in check, while predators like saber-toothed cats prevented herbivore populations from exploding. Together, they maintained a balance that supported life during one of the Earth's most challenging eras. The role of megafauna in ecosystems, megafauna weren't just inhabitants of the Ice Age, they were engineers of their ecosystems. Their sheer size and appetites transformed landscapes that benefited countless other species. Ecosystem engineers, mammoths. By grazing and trampling vegetation, mammoths helped maintain grasslands, prevented forests from encroaching, and supported biodiversity. Ground sloths. These massive herbivores dispersed seeds through their dung aiding plant growth and regeneration. Predators, 
saber-toothed cats and other predators controlled herbivore populations, ensuring that resources weren't overexploited. These interactions created a dynamic and sustainable environment. Many ecosystems would have looked vastly different without megafauna, with cascading effects on smaller animals, plants, and climate patterns. Early Humans and Megafauna The relationship between early humans and megafauna was complex, ranging from competition to coexistence. For our ancestors, these creatures were both a threat and a resource. Hunting and Survival Early humans hunted megafauna for meat, fur, and bones. Mammoths, in particular, provided food and materials for tools and shelter. Archaeological evidence shows that humans used mammoth bones to construct homes in regions where wood was scarce. Cultural significance megafauna also played a role in early human spiritual and cultural lives. Cave paintings in Europe depict mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and other Ice Age giants, suggesting that these animals were revered or feared. Their presence shaped myths, stories, and rituals, leaving a legacy in some indigenous cultures today. The Extinction of the Giants Around 10,000 years ago, most of the world's megafauna vanished in a wave of extinctions. The causes of this mass disappearance remain one of the great mysteries of history, with two primary theories often debated, climate change and human activity. Climate change. As the Ice Age ended, the Earth's climate warmed rapidly, glaciers melted, sea levels rose, and habitats shifted. Grasslands gave way to forests, reducing the open spaces that many megafauna relied on. Animals like mammoths, adapted to cold climates, struggled to survive in the new, warmer world. Human impact. The arrival of humans in new regions coincided with the decline of megafauna, leading some scientists to suggest that overhunting played a significant role. Early humans, armed with advanced tools and coordinated hunting strategies, may have outpaced these animals' ability to reproduce. Combination of factors. Most researchers agree that extinction likely resulted from climate change and human activity. The warming climate stressed megafauna populations, while human hunting added further pressure, creating a perfect storm that led to their demise. Could megafauna return? The idea of bringing back megafauna, often called de-extinction, has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Advances in genetic technology have sparked discussions about reviving species like mammoths through cloning or genetic engineering. Why bring them back? Reintroducing megafauna could restore ecosystems disrupted by their absence. For example, rewilding efforts in Siberia aim to use mammoth-like animals to recreate Ice Age grasslands, which could help combat climate change by trapping carbon in the soil challenges and risks. However, de-extinction raises ethical and practical questions. Would these animals survive in today's world? How would they interact with modern ecosystems? And should resources be spent on reviving extinct species instead of protecting endangered ones? While the dream of seeing mammoths roam the earth again is intriguing, the practical realities make it a topic of intense debate. The megafauna era was a time of giants, creatures that shaped ecosystems, inspired awe, and left a lasting legacy. Though their extinction marked the end of an era, their impact is still felt today. From the landscapes they sculpted to the myths they inspired, megafauna remind us of the delicate balance between nature, humanity, and survival. Watch the following video to discover the Ice Age's most mysterious predator and its surprising connection to modern ecosystems.